Hey Premiere Pros, it's Paul Murphy here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make your own light leaks without buying or downloading footage, installing plugins, or opening After Effects. We're gonna do it entirely inside of Premiere Pro. So I'm gonna show you how to do this yourself, but I'll also include a link in the description below so you can download my project afterwards. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is create a new sequence. So I'll go down to the new document button and choose sequence. I'm gonna go over to settings and I wanna change the editing mode to custom. Make sure you set the time base to whatever your sequence is. So my sequence is 25 frames per second. For the frame size, I wanna change this to something very small, which is 48 by 27 pixels and I'll set the pixel aspect ratio to square pixels. And you can see this is actually a 16.9 sequence. It's just, it's very small. I'll turn off fields and I'll name this light leaks. And then I'll click okay. And then I wanna create a black video that's the same size as my sequence. So I'll go back to my new document button and choose black video. By default, it will choose those same settings I just added to my sequence. I'll click okay and then I'll drag this into my sequence. I'm gonna drag this out to something long, so maybe about two minutes, and then I'm gonna start adding effects to this black video. So I'll go over to my effects panel, and the first effect I wanna add is noise HLS auto. So make sure you choose the one with auto at the end of it. There's also an effect called noise HLS, and I'll click and drag this onto my clip. The reason that I wanna choose auto is that it's going to automatically animate noise for me so I don't have to do any keyframing on it. And then with my clip selected, I'll go up to my effect controls. There's our noise HLS auto effect. I'm gonna go down to the lightness and turn this all the way up. So I think the highest point is a thousand percent. And you can see there's our noise on screen here. If I play this back, you should see that animate quickly. I'll select that again to get back to my effect. And what I wanna do is change the noise type to grain. I'm gonna change the grain size to the highest size I have. And down here is the noise animation speed. So this is how quickly the noise evolves. I actually want this to be quite a low setting. I'm gonna set this to two. And now if I play my sequence back, I should see something that starts to look like light leaks. Well, actually that doesn't quite look right. Can you see how there's a difference between when I play and then when I pause, see how the image is quite different there? That's because I don't have high quality playback turned on and it's always a good idea to have that checked when you're actually doing effects work. So I'm gonna go over to my wrench in my program monitor. I'm gonna make sure I have high quality playback checked. Now when I play this back, what I see when it's paused and when it's playing should look the same. Yeah, that's much better. But what I think I need to do is just sort of soften it out a little bit. And I'm gonna do that with a blur. So I might just find a frame that's good to add a blur to. Maybe that looks good. And then I'll go over to my effects and the blur I'm gonna use here is the Gaussian blur. Gaussian blur is really good because it plays back really fast, but it's also really high quality. And over here in my effect controls, I'll turn the blurriness up. And I wanna also make sure that I check repeat edge pixels so that the blur goes all the way to the edge of the frame. And if I play this back, we should have something that's starting to look a little more like light leaks. It's kind of like grayscale light leaks. All right, that looks good. Now we need to add it to our main sequence. So over here is my main sequence where I have some footage of a model. And what I'll do is go over to my project panel and just get that light leak sequence that we just created. And I wanna add this as a nested sequence into this main edit here, but I only want the video from the sequence. So I'm just going to turn off the audio patching and just drag this over. Now that sequence doesn't look anything like what we were just working on before. And remember that's because this is a very, very small sequence. In fact, there it is right there. So what I wanna do is actually blow this up to the size of this sequence here. So I'm just going to select that nested sequence, right click, and I'm gonna choose scale to frame size. And so that I can see the lighter part of the noise here, what I'm gonna do is go over to my opacity settings for this sequence. So over to my effect controls, opacity, and I wanna change the blend mode to screen. So that's just gonna show me the brighter parts of the sequence and ignore the black parts. And now we should have those light leaks on top of the model here. 
Of course, one of the great things about natural light leaks is the weird sort of colors they have. So I'm gonna go over to my effects panel and I'm going to search for the tint effect. I'll drag this onto the nested sequence. And you can see here we have the option to map the black to a color and map the white to a color. We wanna leave the black alone because we're in screen mode, but for the white, I think I'll change this to a red color. And let's see how that looks now. I'm again noticing that the look of the light leaks isn't the same when I'm playing it and when I'm pausing it. That's always a dead giveaway that I don't have high quality playback turned on for this sequence. I've only turned it on for the light leaks. So I will go back over to my wrench here and make sure I have high quality playback turned on. Let's have a look at it now. All right, so that's already looking great and you could probably be done at this point, but I do like to sort of play around with the light leaks a little bit and see what different effects I can get. You could play around with something like the exposure to try and make the color a bit stronger. We don't wanna play with the shadows at all. We need them to stay black, but we can play around with the midtones and highlights a bit to make this color just a little bit more interesting and a little bit more natural. But another really good thing to do is to add another layer of light leaks that are a different color. So I'm gonna hold down my option key, that's the Alt on PC, select my light leaks and then click and drag up. So now I have two layers of light leaks, but I want the layer at the top to be out of sync with the layer underneath it. So I'm just gonna choose a different endpoint here and then drag this down. So I should have two separate light leaks moving at different rates. And with the second one selected, I'm gonna go over to the tint and I'm gonna change this to something like a light blue. And let's see how that looks. And there you go, that's how you make your own custom light leaks using nothing but Premiere Pro. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, remember to like and subscribe for more videos like this. And also don't forget to download my project file in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.